What is up everyone? All right, today we're trying out some makeup from M Cosmetics. So I am one of those people <laughs> that doesn't like to place orders on brand websites. I've talked about this a bit in the past, just because if I can get it from a larger site where I don't have to pay for shipping or where I can get other brands too, I'd prefer that. And I think a lot of us are kind of like that, but every once in a while there comes along a brand that is only sold on their website. I've just heard so much and I've tried at least one product from the brand. I wanna say more than one, but definitely one product that is a holy grail of mine and has been for like a couple of years now. And it's one of the eyeshadow palettes from this brand. And because I love this so much, I realized like, you know what, Jessica, it's time to try more from the brand. <laughs> so I finally did. I placed a pretty large order we have some new eyeshadow palettes. They're just like the one I just showed you, but look at these, they're even more neutral. So if you're like me and you like neutral shadows, oh my gosh. So these are the two new ones I bought. And then we've got a little cream, well like liquid blush to try, a bronzer stick I've heard amazing things about, some other blush and highlight products, some lip stuff, brow stuff. So we're gonna dive in. I'm partially ready. I just put on my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless for my foundation today. I really like this stuff and it's really been pairing well with the Milani No Pore Zone. These look really good together. And really with the No Pore Zone, I just kind of do it in the T-Zone and that's about it. But love both of those. And then concealer wise, I used the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. That is it. Also, I'm giggling because I'm wearing a non, well, it's like a regular me shirt. <laughs> if you look, my, <laughs> my 35 week pregnant belly is just sticking out from it. That's all, just made me laugh. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what to do first. So, okay, this brow product. I think I may have a dud. So we're starting off on a really weird note. This is the M Cosmetics Micro Fluff Sculpting Brow Cream. Love the packaging. I love like the black and white. It's like matte. I don't know, it's just really cute. But I opened it and I'm like, oh, I think something's wrong. Like it's missing the little stopper in there. So instead of being a little tiny spoolie with like little bits of product, it's just this glob of product. So I'm still gonna try it, but I'm literally going to wipe off most of the product so that I'm getting it as it's, I think, meant to be used. I might uh, return it though and get it, well, or like exchange it, you know what I mean? I'm assuming they allow that on their website. Anyway, so we're gonna give this a whirl. This is totally a kind of product that I would like. I like to use little brow pomades like this, like in gel format. And I like how thin the spoolie is and hopefully I wiped off enough. Oh my gosh. Done. That was so fast. All right, let's just keep going. I wish the stopper was in it. Cause I'd be curious, like I wiped off a lot. Is this how it typically would be? Is it typically less? Is it more? I don't know. I really do feel like that looks nice. Because this is so long and so thin, it can be really easy. Like my biggest gripe with products like this is that if it doesn't look right at the base of my brow, like when I'm applying it, if it like leaves that empty, it just looks weird. And so then I'm trying to put more on and then it makes that look darker and you're just constantly like trying to balance it out. I feel like this did it pretty evenly all throughout and it was really, really fast. I mean, you saw how fast that was. So. I think I like it, and I definitely like the spoolie size and shape, but I need to go on there and maybe exchange it for one that's not broken <laughs> right off the bat. So verdict is out on that, but I, I do like it, and I think, assuming this really was just a weird dud, if you were to place an order on the website and you need a brow pomade, it might be worth considering, because I do really like it. Now let's do the eyes. Let's talk about these palettes. So first, let me start with the thing that started it all, okay? This is the Divine Skies eyeshadow palette, but it's called, well see, this is what's confusing. These are all their Divine Skies eyeshadow palette, but this one has another name, I think, but it's not on here, because this I've had this for so long, and I don't know that they knew they were gonna do a whole line of these. So whatever, I'll link this exact one, but this is the one I fell in love with originally. I This one all over the lid is the prettiest thing in the world. Amazing in the inner, like just tapped on the center of the lid. Amazing blending shades. That one is beautiful as a one shadow eye look. It is lovely, just absolutely lovely. So the two I bought and these had been sold out and one of you guys, I'm trying to remember exactly how it happened, but one of you guys had DM'd me on Instagram and said, I don't know, you were asking about them or talking and I said, oh, well, I, I wanted to buy some, but they were sold out and you, 
had told me like, no, they just restocked. So I literally went on that minute and ordered these because I'd already ordered all this other stuff and these weren't in stock. Anyway, this one is called Da Vinci and this is the prettiest neutral palette ever. Again, these are all the same shape, but they're like slightly different colors to correspond with what's inside, which I think is just cool. And I like that you can kind of stack them and they, oh my gosh, I love it. And it's just something different. You know what I mean? Like it's just different packaging. I like that there's six shadows and there's plenty of shadow in there, but it's, this is not a giant palette. It's taking up a ton of room. So this one is called Rodin and it is absolutely stunning. So comparing this to Da Vinci, because I, I feel like with these, you probably don't need both. This one's Da Vinci, this one's Rodin. You can see Da Vinci has a little bit more deep colors in there. Based on just looks, I think if, if I were to have bought just one, Rodin would have been the one just based on what I like, but they're both beautiful. Now, before I apply those, another thing I'm definitely going to tap on top and I've already swatched. Actually, I've swatched it like three separate times because I'm like, it's ridiculously pretty. It is this Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow. I got the shade Moonrise. It's got this almost gel-like feel to it. Oh my gosh, it's just insane. And it doesn't feel like ColourPop shadows. It's different because at first when I heard like, oh, it's like kind of gel-like, I was like, oh, like ColourPop. No, it's different still. Like it's totally, where's my little thing? It is totally its own formula. I've never touched anything like that. So very excited to like put that on the lid on top, I guess, we'll see. But I have a feeling this would be one of those things I wear a lot alone all over the lid with like a thick wing and mascara and it just looks so pretty and shiny and chic and mm. Let's dive in, I'm gonna do Rodin. I don't know how to say that. I know it's R-O-D-I-N, so it'd be Rodin, but I think you pronounce it like Rodin but I, then I found it sounds silly. So I merge all of those pronunciations and give you what I say. So I'm gonna start with this kind of like medium shade there. I used this one the other day just cause I wanted to. I'm just kind of putting it everywhere except for like the brow bone. And these are so blendable, but they're definitely more pigmented than I always think. But look, like even that, I feel like that's pretty. Just that. And they blend so easily. Let's go in with this darker shade. I don't usually do that, but let's just try it all over the lid. Same quality shadows as the original one I tried, which is why I love them. They're pigmented, they are still blendable though, cause I'm not someone, I don't always want the most pigmented look, but you can blend them, they end up like, oh my gosh. This might be my favorite shadow formula, you guys. I don't say that lightly, I really don't. This is much darker than I normally go. I know you guys are like, who is this chick? <laughs> but I like it, like that alone, that was really fast and easy, but it's a little bit smoky, but it was easy. I just said that, but I mean, I really wanna emphasize that it's really easy. So let's recreate over here if I can. I can tell you right now, this is going to end up being a travel palette for me because it has pretty much anything I would use in a given day, like a really light shimmer, some medium blending shades, some darker shimmers, like that's pretty much all I use. And then I know that with this shade, I could darken it up. So they have some other ones as well, other colorways. So it's definitely worth looking over there if you were seriously considering buying one of the palettes. Definitely look, cause they've got a couple other colorways that you might be interested in more, depending on what you like. So amazing. I don't even know what else to say. These are just beautiful. I'm so excited to own new ones. Like this was one of the most exciting makeup purchases I've made in a while that I have felt like I cannot wait to get this in the mail. I cannot wait to rip it open. I cannot wait to touch it, like use it, etc. So here's my cute, I just wanna show you this is so cute, my cute little collection. <laughs> Those are now my prized possessions. We're gonna try to use the Cosmic Pearl eyeshadow. I don't know what it's gonna do to this, but I can't not use this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Should I just put it in the center or just go crazy all over? I think maybe I just leave it in the center. So this is gonna be one of those things that, like I said, you could wear alone, you could tap in the center and it is it is not gonna budge. Especially if you feel like, I didn't feel like I went too dark with this eye look, but if you feel like, ooh, that's way darker than I thought, you could really brighten it up with something like this too. But I'm excited to use this alone as well. But now I feel like it's gonna catch the light really nicely, once, especially once it's all put together. Wow, if you've used another shade of this, let me know, because this is totally something I would consider buying a second one of. But this shade in Moonrise is just absolutely stunning. I am sweating in this fleece. Wow, I feel like I just, I look like a different person now. So I use the Urban Decay Waterline, 24 seven Waterline eyeliner, and then I topped it with the Revolution Renaissance Flick Liquid Liner, one of my faves. It's like 10 bucks at Ulta. 
And then I'm still trying out the L'Oreal Voluminous Noir Balm. It is getting better the more it dries out. So a lot of you guys were right. Still not my favorite, but it's, it's looking a lot more voluminous now that it's been open a bit. So I wanted to actually go back into this palette, the Rodin palette, and just put a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm using that same shade I used for the uh, crease. Just a little bit under there. I don't always go in and do this, but I feel like with a darker look, it's kind of nice sometimes. Kind of balance it out a bit. And I like to literally, once I like kind of wipe off what's left on the brush and just turn it, like instead of doing it this way, after I've done that, I'll turn it like long ways and just literally sweep it to kind of make it real blurred. You know what I mean? Let's do the next things. So this I have heard so much about, and this might've been other than the eyeshadow palettes, the thing that set me over the edge for wanting to place an order. This is the M Cosmetics So Soft, like bronzer sticks. I got it in summer and I'm starting to think I should have gotten, what was the other shade I've heard about that's really good that's maybe a little less warm than this. Still gonna use it, but I, I wanna try the other. What is the other shade? I know some of you guys are probably like yelling it at the screen. So I'm just gonna kind of go in with it. We're just gonna see. Blend by pressing it in. I mean, I feel like it blended in pretty quickly, but again, this is warmer for me. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. I'd be curious to try whatever that other one is that's slightly cooler tone might be better. Plus, I, I think I just applied a lot. Let me do a little bit less and see. Okay, maybe a little more. I have to say, this is really easy to work with. Like, you know, there's a lot of cream bronzers out there and they are not all created equally. And I just feel like this is one of the ones that this is being, I mean, look at how fast that's blending out. You don't have to press hard. It doesn't seem to be picking up the makeup underneath, which is huge because that is a huge problem with a lot of cream bronzers is that they may blend well, but then you look at it and you're like, wait a minute, all the foundation underneath that is gone, you know? And so it's nice to have one that just looks good as it is and it's not just wiping up all of that. And I feel like I put on less in the end and it looks a little more natural. You could definitely go ham with this, I could imagine. But it, yeah, I feel like I still need more over here, don't you? I think I might have blended it away too much. And of course the, the lighting, you know, it's never exactly as it is in person. I'm liking it though. It definitely gave dimension to my face. Like I said, it was super easy to blend. This is the Haley's Beauty. It doesn't say what it actually is, but I really like this brush for this. And who did I see? I think it was Taylor Wynn using, she was throwing this on in a recent video and I, I think she was using this and I was like, wait a minute. I totally forgot I have that brush and it's so good for cream bronzer. So I like it if I do end up exchanging the brow cream or just ordering a new one. I'll probably get the other shade in this too. I kinda wanna throw on just real fast a powder on my concealer. I hadn't done that yet and I do think it makes a pretty big difference. Let's move into blush. So I have two blushes. I'm, gonna, I'm trying both, so we're just gonna figure out how I'm gonna do this. I wanna start with this one because this was one I've been wanting to buy for like years now. Ever since these came out a couple years ago, these are their like color drops. What are they actually called? Color drop serum blush. I have it in rose milk. This is definitely the shade I wanted all along because I have fairer skin and this is a much lighter color and it just looks so, so pretty. So packaging wise, I mean, gorgeous. And it's literally a drop where you push that down and it gets the product up in there. And then, yeah, it's just little drops. So the directions literally say to apply it with your finger. That is what we're gonna do. Let me just kind of see. Look at that though. So I'm gonna get some from that amount on my hand. Oh my gosh. One nice thing about formulas that work well with your finger when it comes to cream blush is that I definitely feel like it's less prone, again, to picking up the foundation underneath and like basically erasing all the work you did underneath because you're just pressing it on top versus rubbing it like with a brush like I did with the bronzer, you know. Wow, okay. So with and without, it's obviously lighter, but I like that. I'm gonna put on a little bit more. I'm trying to think through other like more liquid blushes I've tried. Tried one from Physicians Formula, it's nothing like this. I don't know that I've tried anything quite like this because it is so, like you can almost see, it's like wet. You see that? Very emollient, but I'll be curious, like with other shades, I only got the one shade because I was like, I better make sure I even like this formula. I don't wanna buy, you know, but yeah, I'd be curious with other shades. Like, are they all this this easy to blend, even if it's like a more, you know, like a deeper shade? Because that would make me want to try more of them if that's the case, if I can really like work with it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so easy. 
This is so easy. <laughs> And it looks so even, like you don't feel like you've got harsh lines anywhere. Well, no wonder everyone was freaking out about it. So if you are anywhere near my skin tone and you like more of that like lighter wash of blush, you don't wanna worry about it, get the shade Rose Milk because this is blowing my mind. And I feel like my skin, because this is so emollient, looks so like healthy where I placed it. Don't you agree? Oh my gosh. Well, great. Now I don't want to top it with this other blush, but I absolutely must try this blush. So the other one I got is their Heaven's Glow blush in Magic Hour. Oh my gosh. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think this original palette is now that I loved is now called Magic Hour. I'm almost positive because they all have this vibe. The prettiest color to me that's like ever existed. <laughs> I guess I'll just put it on top. So get a good glimpse so you know what that one looks like. Now we're going on top with this. Let me just swatch this. Oh my gosh. So you can kind of see it. It's, it's not matte, but it's not like glittery or anything. It has this like satin look to it. I know this is not gonna be exact because obviously I'm putting this on top of something else. Oh, it can pack a punch though. Although I'm now remembering like my cheeks are basically wet <laughs> from that. Oh, but if I'd like wiped it all off, then I'd be starting over on a lot of things. Sorry y'all. I got a doctor's appointment in a little bit. I gotta like actually be ready for the day. I don't have too much time, I wish I did. Yeah, this is really pretty. So I'll get back to you. Like on my Instagram, I'll usually pop on and talk about stuff. I will definitely get back to you on all of this in a speed reviews video in a month or two, once I've used it all, but I have a feeling I'm going to really like this. And in fact, by the time this will go live, I will have been able to play with these for a week. So I'll put some notes down in the info box about some of these that I've tried more and just kind of update you on my thoughts. Like once I've used this separate from the liquid blush. Wow. All right. So next up is this cushion highlighter. I got it. It's their Moonbeam cushion highlighter. It's in Aura. Really pretty packaging. All of the packaging of this is beautiful, you guys. It's got a little puff thing if you want to use it with the cushion, but it is a highlighter. So, I mean, I guess I could in theory go like this and kind of bend it and do it, but I'm just going to use my finger. I swatched this earlier and I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, you literally just Remember cushion foundations, man. I mean, they're obviously still around and still really good, but it's been a while since I've tried one. So that's it right there. Oh my gosh. So the one thing I know about M Cosmetics is that when, when Emily Fawn, Emily, no, I'm sorry, Michelle Fawn started her um, brand originally, I think she just had a lot less control over things, et cetera, et cetera. So she wasn't happy with the quality of all the products. And now when she relaunched years later, she really has, uh, my understanding, she has real control and is really, really picky about the products. And that's why I was like, I know these are all gonna be good. Like I know that they will be. So we're just gonna tap, oh my gosh. Maybe a little too much. Okay, we're gonna wipe that off and we're just gonna blend. And it's blending like a dream. <laughs> And it looks so pretty, it doesn't look, I'm sure if I wanted to keep layering it on, I could really get it over the top if that's the look you're going for. But I feel like it looks glowy, but it's not over the top. And you saw how pigmented that was the second I put it on. Would pigmented be the right word? How shiny it was? These are all just, I like that you can use a lot of these with your finger. I'm a big finger fan. Oh, sometimes. Y'all are gonna think I'm sponsored. I bought all of this with my own money. This brand does not know who I am as far as I know. These are my genuine thoughts. I'm just, everything we've used I feel like is so good. Blush might be a little over the top putting two of them on, but beyond that, I mean, oh my gosh. So I have two lippies, one that was just sent free within the order. Like, you know, if, I don't know if you ordered a certain amount, they just put this in your cart. And then one I actually picked out. So the one I picked out I wanna use first. This is their Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer in Mona Lisa. It's like a grayish pink. I'm such a fan of this color and it's such a, wow, it is like super melty. It's just such a unique color. Weirdly hard to find. Isn't this unique? Like it's not brown, it's not pink. It's totally unique. So this is a super melty product. So you don't wanna get, you, you turn it up, you know? You don't wanna to get too much out because it's just gonna melt as you press into it. Really, really comfy, feels like a lip balm. I just, I think this is unique. So I'm excited to try this more. This is something that if I like the formula, I could see, again, if I do order a couple more things, I could see me getting just another shade of it because it's really comfy. 
Oh my gosh, but I don't even, this shade is it though. It's so different. So I'm gonna wipe this off, however, because I wanna try this. This is the Infinite Lip Cloud Long Wearing Lip Cream. I do wanna say I've like tried this before. Like did I order one of these back when I ordered that original one years ago? I don't know. So the shade is Hushberry. This is a very thin formula. Like you barely can tell you're wearing anything. This is a pretty cool color, <laughs> I have to say. I didn't know if I would end up liking it or not, but this is a pretty cool color. So almost like weirdly comfortable. Like I said, it feels like you're not wearing anything. I feel like I would forget I'm wearing it and like wipe my hand or wipe my face against something. I mean, it feels really good. It doesn't feel dry the way a lot of products like this feel. I think it feels more akin to the L'Oreal like lip stains like this, but this is more moisturizing. Like it doesn't feel, that one can feel a little dry. Wow though, wow. This is pretty cool. So yeah, what a fun free thing that totally like changed my look here, didn't it? So yeah, I think if I were to pick a cup, I don't know that I can. So you say if I were to pick just a few favorites that like if you were thinking about buying like two or three new products from the brand, what would it be? You already know the eyeshadows are gonna be on there, period. Period, this is my favorite thing in this, in this haul. I'm so excited to have these. I think probably this, really unique single shadow that's just so ridiculous. And I think the blush, really close with the bronzer. See, that's the thing though, like I like the, the highlighter, I like the other blush, I like the lip products, but I think these would be the three that I would recommend looking into because like these two are just totally unique. And then these eyeshadow palettes are just amazing. So that's everything. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Like I said, I'll put some notes about how some of this wore and just my updated thoughts down in the description box if you're curious about that. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up in the next few weeks that I'm super pumped about. So I hope that you'll subscribe and stay tuned if you like makeup, drugstore makeup. I do it all, I do vlogs. Uh, what else do I do? Just chatty videos where we chat about life and get ready together. I would love to have you join our family by subscribing and of course saying hey to me over on my Instagram, which is at it's Jessica Braun. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.